What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. I wanted to kick off today's video by congratulating all of you guys who have got your A-level results today and if you got into university, especially those who are new to the Trent Army, welcome to Nottingham Trent University. You are going to have the best time of your life. Make sure to bring a seatbelt because you're in for a bumpy ride but my god is it going to be good, it's going to be exciting and I hope to see you guys there as well. Let's get today's video started. Alright guys, so just furthering on from what I just said about getting into university and stuff, for those of you who are actually going to be joining Trent, I know there's probably going to be a few of you who are already there watching this video, but for those of you who are going to be new to Trent this year, there's actually a live stream that all the student union have done and I'm actually watching it right now, it's been on for about half an hour, and I, just don't, I, don't, I kind of don't want to turn it off, I'm kind of excited and interested to see what, like, what people's questions are. So. If you do want to watch this and you're going to be a new trend student, then check it out on my LSJ Fitness Facebook page. I will actually share it on there. I've shared it on my personal page as well, but I'll share it on my LSJ Fitness page just for you guys to watch. So I thought I just thought I'd share that on there for you guys because there's actually a few questions that I would have wanted answered. So hopefully that will help a few of you guys out. So I know I've got a muscle food package coming fairly soon. Uh, and also we've got a train today. It's going to be a push push day but shoulder emphasis. I'm going to take it nice and easy today though because I'm hurting my, I've, I've got a little bit of a pain in my right delt. So we'll see how that goes, we'll just take it nice and easy. Uh, I'm going to get changed first and then we're going to train, so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Just the one, yeah? Thank Muscle food. It's been a while since I've actually had a muscle food package, guys. That well, not I actually get them like all the time. It's all I eat. But it's actually been a while since I've done one, opened one on the channel. So instead of going through a whole like five minute unboxing video, I'll just quickly show you a bit later on in the video what we've got. So stay tuned for that, guys. Right guys, so as you can probably tell by the amount of sweat, I'm dripping in sweat because it gets quite warm in here and if you do a bit of cardio, have a nice good intense session, then you start to get a bit of a sweat on. But what I wanted to show you is the different kinds of cardio that you could actually be doing. I prefer, to be honest with you, I don't like running. I do, if it's just long distance running, it's different if I'm playing a rugby game or something like that and I'm running after a ball, there's a goal, there's a, there's a target, you know, but if it's just me running with my headphones in, then that gets a little bit boring for me. So if I can just go on something like this, like the stepper and just put YouTube on in the background, watch some videos, answer some DMs, uh, just like respond to some YouTube comments, just be productive. I can do cardio and be productive all at the same time. And I tend to go that route just because I prefer it. I think it's a bit more practical and it's just, it's just a bit easier, isn't it? Let's be honest, guys. But at the end of the day, you've got to think about it. Would you rather burn more calories in a short period of time and it'd be more difficult and more taxing on your body or would you rather do cardio for longer and get other stuff done while you're doing it like I do? So it's just something you've got to weigh out for yourself. But if you have a look here, look, this, that, like I said, this is only a fairly cheap piece of machinery, like, it wasn't that much money, but it does, it does the job, it gets it done, right? As you can see here, it's a little bit wobbly, right? Because this has come off. So what, was I, what I was actually doing was stepping on here, and as you can see there, it was a little bit wobbly, and actually came off, sort of mid cardio. So I was there just casually watching YouTube doing my thing, and it came off, and I thought, right, okay, I don't like hit cardio, necessarily. What I have available to me, I don't like doing, but I'm in that kind of situation. That is what is available to me at that time. And so what did I do? Put a YouTube video on, just follow someone's hit cardio workout, just make sure they were trained, make sure they knew what they were doing. But then at the same time, 
I still couldn't do all of the stuff. It was this workout here, this 15 minute HIIT workout, no equipment needed, cardio at home, right? But then at the same time, there was a couple of things which I couldn't do, right? So if I go back to this here, he's going from a plank to a press up, plank, to a presser, plank to a presser. I have pretty bad elbows, right? So that tends, that kind of exercise tends to put a lot of stress on the joint for me. And so what did I just do instead? Did 20 seconds of presses because it was 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 20 on, 20 off, 20 on, for minutes and minutes and minutes, and it went on. And I was done in like 10 minutes. I burned the same amount of calories as what I would do doing 40 minutes on a stepper, and I feel really good afterwards, guys. So I felt like I still had a little bit of gas in me though, to be honest with you. So I start, I finished off with some pull-ups and some out crunches as well because that's that's something that I really need to start incorporating a little bit more in my training purely because at the end of the day guys everybody has abs right it's just whether you have the belly fat whether you have the, the body fat percentage to, for them to show right a low, a low body fat percentage is going to reveal your abs everyone has abs otherwise you wouldn't be able to stand upright so people get a little bit confused when they say oh I just don't have abs just can't grow my abs or whatever but at the end of the day that even if they are there when you have the low body fat, if you don't train them, then they're not going to pop. And everyone, everyone, all those fitness models that you see in the magazines and everything like that, the abs are so chiseled. They're not just there, they're built up with strong training, hypertrophy training, just like what you do with your biceps, what you do with your legs, what you do with your chest, right? The things that everybody loves. And it's one of the things that people tend to skip out. It's a bit like calves. No one really likes to train them because it hurts. It really, really hurts when you train them. But to be honest, guys, I've been incorporating it a little bit more Especially since doing this push ball legs routine, I don't know whether it just fits in a little bit better or what. And it's going really well, guys. I mean, I'm dropping body fat and I feel like my abs are thickening up a little bit all at the same time. So, rambled on enough, I'll catch you guys at dinner. Alright guys, so workout done and I thought I'd just give you guys a little bit of an update like what I said earlier on what we got from muscle food. So, in a nutshell, we got Beef mince, beef mince, beef mince, beef mince, beef mince, steak, 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 chicken, 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 and more steak. And that is what I'm going to be having for dinner tonight. So I'm going to get that ready with some sweet potato fries. Then I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Right guys, so dinner is all finished, it's all sorted. The steak went down an absolute treat, it was really good. I could have steak every single day. I know I said it about peas in the last video, now it's about steak in this video. I could have steak every single day and it would not get old. So what I wanted to do to finish off today's video guys, just give you guys a little bit of an update in terms of weigh-ins, where, where I'm at with my IB for and my goals and everything like that. So the weight, my weight has actually gone back up for no real apparent reason, but my body does like to play tricks on me. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that before my weight goes down, it, my body holds onto it, holds onto it, holds onto it, and then actually goes up a little bit and then crashes down. Like at the click of a finger, I can wake up one day four pounds lighter than I was the night before. It's ridiculous. My body, I don't know whether you guys have a similar thing. Comment down below if you have any experiences like that or if you have the complete opposite. If you find it really easy, if you find it really difficult to get the weight off, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be, I would love to know how, what your guys' experiences, purely because I can learn from it, you can learn from mine, and we can all help each other out, guys. Together, we will grow. So that's basically where I'm at at the minute, guys. So I'm kind of waiting for that weight to just drop off because, to be honest, there's a lot more definition in my shoulders. Like, I can see a lot more abs now. I don't have the greatest abs in the world, to be honest. So that they're actually that's how I can tell. They're starting to show through a little bit more. Definition in the shoulders, definitely like vascular arms, all that kind of stuff. We're heading in the right direction, but the weight is heading in the wrong direction almost. So I'm kind of not, I'm trying to not let that get in my head. I'm not going to lie, it is getting in my head but I'm trying my best to sort, sort of just stay consistent, power through it and then hopefully eventually the weight will drop off and the goals will come through guys. So that is where I'm currently at with the goals of Ibiza and it's less than two weeks now at the time of filming this until we actually head off and I cannot, I cannot friggin wait guys because to be honest I feel like I've been cutting for so 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 long and if you think about it, I started the summer training competition if you started watching me back then in like back in March time that was. Uh, that was the summer shredding competition and it was a very slow, gradual process. I was at uni so I was still going out, the weight wasn't coming off as quick as other people, you know, the people who won because I didn't. But regardless of all of that, I still stuck to my goals, never missed a session and just did the best that I could with the situation that I was in whilst maintaining my student lifestyle, my social life, my social life and all this kind of stuff. But to be honest guys, I've done my best over summer, I've still gone out, I've still enjoyed myself, made the most of summer but been prepping for Ibiza at the same time. But I said all the way back then in summer training, I was like, I'm gonna carry on cutting, but if I want a beer, I'm gonna have a beer. And that's ex essentially what I've done. Instead of having Bud Light or Kofferberg Light, I've had a Budweiser and a Kofferberg. It's pretty much been a laid back cut, but it's slowly sort of come off while I'm sticking to my goals and everything like that as well. But I'm, I'm kind of, I'm getting tired of this whole cutting mentality because 
I am having to say no to a pizza. Like my parents had pizza tonight, but like, and I could have happily had that, but I didn't. But and or just situations like that, I've had to turn things down, and I'm getting bored of having to turn things down. I want to just relax, just feed my body what it needs, just make some PBs and put on some serious muscle. I'm gonna make the most of this ne next ball, guys, because it is third year. I'm not gonna be going out as much, and so I'm gonna have a lot more time to go to the gym because I'm not gonna be hungry for as much. And I'm just, just being brutally honest with you guys, I'm not gonna be hanging as much, and so I'm gonna have a lot more time to go to the gym. So that's, that's it, really. I'm kind of getting tired of cutting, but I've set myself this goal, and so I'm gonna stick with it, stay consistent, and achieve those goals as well, guys. So that is gonna to conclude today's video. That is gonna end this rant and end today's video, guys. So thank you so much if you made it this far. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember, no regrets, and I'll see you guys in the next video.